Grace Jackson, we're tuned in to the girls under 17, 800 meters, the first final of the last session. Schrader, Roll, Ford, McLaughlin, Aberdeen, Buchanan, Warner, and uh, Bias of uh, Guyana on the outside. The under 17 record, 2 minutes, 09.59 by Jamaica's Natoya Gould and uh, Cindy Ford of Barbados. Lines of play number 3, she was in the final last year, she was 5th. Girls, 800 on the outside. It's like bias. Bias of Guyana, close to us, 2 3 0. And uh, she ran 2 24 0 4 to get to this final. And uh, Letha McLaughlin had a chat with her. Uh, not feeling 100%. She's in lane number 4 with Cindy Ford in lane number 3. She was in the finals last year. Girls, 800, under 17. Uh, they set off. It's uh, Schrader's role, Ford, McLaughlin. Aberdeen, but Canada 1500 meter champion, uh, Warner and uh, Bias on the outside, uh, and uh, but Canon most strongly, she's on the outside in the yellow strip of Jamaica, she goes forward, uh, Cindy Ford on the inside comes across, so to Aberdeen of Grenada, and uh, a little bumping and contact on the back straight away, and uh, that's on the outside, Aberdeen, Grenada in the red with Lisa Buchanan of Jamaica there on the inside. Uh, they're running in rows together. The Bahamian is there too. She's Dresha Roll of the Bahamas. And uh, running sort of close together with uh, the Barbadian Cindy Ford in what is the third row. And uh, that's two for Buchanan on the outside, one at nine four, Aberdeen. They're running together, uh, first and second, with behind them McLaughlin on the inside, Jamaica, and Ford coming through for Barbados, the blue cat, light blue on the outside, that's from the Bahamas roll. It's uh, 194, Aberdeen, 67-8 for the first lap, and Grace, they're all right together. It's the finals, and so uh, we're expecting the best of the best, and so uh, uh, with the half mile, they want to ensure that but the lead runner does not get away from them and uh, stay bunched up as best as possible. They start separating with 300 to go. You'll start seeing the separation coming into place. 280 meters to go in the 800 meters on the 17 final. On the outside, pushing forward is Aletha McLaughlin. Last year won the girls 3,000 meters. She speeds forward, but Cannon second for Jamaica. Cindy Ford, a finalist in 2010 in Grand Cayman, pulls on the outside. It's Cindy Ford on the outside. Blue and gold Barbados. 2 6 on the inside. Little Aletha McLaughlin heads into the straightaway first, but Cannon is third and drops back. McLaughlin and Ford race hell for leather for the gold medal. Here comes Cindy Ford of Barbados in the finals last year. Off the medals. Here she comes. Cindy Ford and McLaughlin. She squeezes by at the end and takes the gold medal. 2-14-6-0 for Cindy Ford. Fifth in 2010. Gold in 2011. She paced herself perfectly, Hubert. She stayed with the Jamaica all the way until the last 80 meters. And she timed herself. She did not she started the process of moving forward and she waited until the last 30 meters to make that decisive move to overtake the Jamaican because both of them were tired at that stage but she did just enough to come off for the win. Last year Giovanna Straker of Guyana won the gold medal with a sneak attack at the end past Marina Eubanks of Jamaica. History repeats itself in 2011. Here's a replay on the very inside in the yellow vest. Impressive Anita McLaughlin, 3000 yes. champion last year, steps into the street with a full head of steam, not giving up. Blue and gold Cindy Ford, fifth last year for Barbados in Grand Cayman here in Montego Bay comes by good sprint form and Cindy Ford steps past and takes the gold medal Elvis Ford running a big Barbados 4x4 team in 1984 in Los Angeles they set a national record 30160 and today in Montego Bay Cindy Ford takes gold in Montego Bay that's right uh, she knew that was hers to be to hold on to and she did just that and she really made a great move at 50 meters to go uh, overtaking and the time there are the times Ford 214.66 it was close McLaughlin 214.75 and the 1500 meter champion Buchanan takes the bronze 217.09 a bright blue Barbados good afternoon in Montego Bay to our colleague Bruce James 
Let's throw it down to Jermaine Brown. We'll be back with Bruce James in just a moment. Back to Jermaine Brown. All right, thank you. With me is Cindy Ford, winner of the under 17 girls, 800 meters. Well, it was it was a, a, a from, from from the Bahamas. All right. Well, it was a good run for you as well. Tell tell me about the last lap for you. How difficult was it? The last lap was kind of hard because I let them go on too far. So I just had to make sure I had to run up and catch them and just sprint, sprint. When I get to 200. All right. Well, thank you and all the best. Thank you. The Bahamian team uh, stars on uh, night number one with Bright Sprint. That's unique role of the Bahamas, winner of the 3,000 meters last night. And uh, uh, she uh, has brought a uh, long distance edge to the running of the Bahamian team. They've got fine sprinters, some of them coming up tonight as we get set for those presentations. Unique role, the winner from the Bahamas at 3,000 meters last night. Good afternoon, Bruce James. Very good afternoon to you, Hubert, Grace, the entire team, and all of Montego Bay, the Caribbean, and worldwide. The feedback has been tremendous and positive, and we are going to see non-stop action between now and about 8.30 this evening, Montego Bay time, and it's all finals. 19 finals to go, and all of them will be hot and competitive. We saw the first taste of it in the under 17 girls, 800 meters with 50 meters to go. Would it have been McLaughlin of Jamaica or the eventual winner, Cindy Ford of Barbados? Ford was able to triumph at that point and I believe we're gonna see much more of that. The next race on track is a clash, I would say. There is someone on a tear his name is Nicholas, and his last name is Lando. He has won everything that he has touched. He's in lane number seven here from Trinidad and Tobago. He won the 1500 meters for under 17 boys here this year. He won the 3000 meters for under 17. Under, under 17, 3,000 meters, he threw himself to the track in disgust because he did not break the record. The record in the 800 meters for under 17 boys here is 1 minute 53.72 set by Theon O'Connor, Campion College and Jamaica. That record could be under threat because Nicholas Lando of Trinidad and Tobago will not leave the character games without a record this year. The boys are on track for the 800 meters and uh, just to one lane to his outside. Give the line up quickly. It's um, Riley, the Bahamas, Haynes of Barbados, Paris of St. Vincent, his coach, Mike Oliver, Joel Belafonte, Cayman, high school champion in Jamaica, Kevin Robinson, also a high school champion in Jamaica, Tariq Moses of the BVI, Nicholas Lando chasing an almost unique triple on the outside. Mason of Barbados. So this is where the clash begins. Mason from Barbados came second in the 400 meters here at the Carifta Games this year to Sedino of Trinidad and Tobago. He is the defending champion standing in lane eight and he feels he has not gotten the respect and attention he deserves, especially with Lando already winning two gold medals here. This is the third shot for Lando. This is the second shot for Mason. And surely I would say Land, uh, being an Austin Sealy um, potential recipient if he wins this 800 meters. That's Lando from Trinidad and Tobago. Right, right. Three gold medals. Close shots at records, always a good resume to go for that Austin Sealy Award for the top athlete at the Carifta Games. Won the 3,000 meters that in the Carifta Games since 2006, and uh, just one boy has done the 8, 15, 3,000 treble. That's Gavin Nero of TNT. He now at Baylor University in the States. There's a clean start. Boys, 800 meters. On the outside, the defending champion, Gerard Mason of Harrison College in Barbados. He goes up hard. Second in the 400 meters in the blue and the gold on the outside. Scampering through on the inside from Barbados. Ashley Riley going fast from the Bahamas. So on the outside from Barbados, the defending champion, Gerard Mason. On the inside, in light blue, Ashley Riley of Barbados. And further back, the man chasing a treble in. And he seems to be pulled up trip somewhere and goes off to the side so the treble derailed for Nicky Lando of TNT the defending champion has the lead from Barbados that's uh, Gerard Mason beside him from uh, 
the Bahamas is Ashley Riley and John Haynes also in the final last year from Barbados on the inside. Also running stride for stride in third is uh, from St. Vincent, Paris. It's the defending champion, 54-4 for the first lap, and he continues to speed. Has the best speed in the field. Back in the pack, in the red vest and the blue shorts, is Joel Belafonte of the Cayman Islands, and uh, he's starting to move as well. On the outside, Belafonte moves up, goes past Paris of St. Vincent, and uh, trying to go past, goes past Haynes of uh, uh, Barbados, Riley, Second, Gerard Mason, the defending champion from Barbados. Mason, Riley, and Belafonte. Here comes Kevin Robinson, Jamaica. It's Gerard Mason, one last year for Barbados. Turns into the straightway. He's got good sprint speed. Starts to use it down the stretch. Gerard Mason, Barbados. Riley, Bahamas. Gerald Belafonte of Cayman Islands comes forward. So too Haynes of Jamaica. So too Robinson. But Gerard Mason of Harrison College and Barbados repeat in 800 meters. It's a crash near the end. And uh, Kevin Robinson third, Riley second. It's 151. 151.73. And uh, a crash at the end for Belafonte. Has crashed in races before at Carista and in Jamaica. But there's the Barbados shuffle from Gerard Mason of Barbados. Mason dances. A la Usain Bolt, he comes and thanks the Bayesian supporters and all the supporters. He continues dancing. Before the race, we promised you a record. After the race, the, ra the record was delivered by the defending champion, Gerard Mason of Barbados, who continues to dance. You see the race here, 110 meters to go, 100 meters to go. Mason, the fastest on in the field, with a silver medal from the 400 meters already in these games, running on in third and fourth. It's going to be a very interesting clash as we see the athletes from Barbados and Cayman. They That's touch. John Haynes bumping with Gerald Belafonte. Haynes goes over. Uh, Belafonte pushed off track already. He falls over Haynes. Haynes gets back up. He's still on the track and tries to get by. He's caught by Paris in the line from St. Vincent. And uh, Kevin Robinson, Jamaica, got the bronze. Riley above Bahamas got the silver. A great run. 151.73, a brand new record for Gerard Mason of Barbados and Harrison College. Belafonte of the Cayman Islands lives in Jamaica, trains in Jamaica, goes to Calabar High School in Jamaica, is very, very upset because those two athletes were taking dead aim at the silver medal. The gold was out of touch, and their clash caused them to be unable to continue. And uh, there is a lots of activity now because uh, we saw a crash in 800 meters and uh, there's also more trouble it's like a jamaican athlete down the meat staff there the medical staff also occupied and uh, uh, we'll looks like kelly on nib 256 down at the javelin, javelin. throw and uh, she's got two silvers already there are the times 151.79 gerard mason of barbados ashley riley second 153.57 and Kevon Robinson 154.55 at the very bottom Nicholas Lando he stopped before the race was finished let's go on to Jermaine Brown at trackside all right with me is uh, the winner of the on the 17 boys 800 meters Jared Mason of Barbados Jared um, a record run for you just how confident were you coming into this into this final knowing it knowing it was going to be quite tough well for me it was good I was under the record, so I was pretty confident coming into the race. All right, take me through that final, that last 200 meters where you knew there was a bunch behind you coming after you. Well, I knew they would come because the whole 800 runs, they want to catch up to the leader and stay with him. So I like to lead and then tire the men and keep from 200. All right. Well, thank you, Jared, and all the very best. Thank you very much. And joining me now is uh, the winner of the under 17 girls, 800 meters, also uh, from Barbados, Sydney uh, Ford. Uh, Sydney, an outstanding run for you in the under 17 girls, 800 meters. Take us through that final lap as you came into the home stretch with the Jamaican Alethea McClarkin right on your shoulders. Well, I always had a plan to win, so I, I knew I was capable of doing it, so I pushed myself and pushed myself until I did it. And, and uh, of, of course, Sydney, a good time also by you in taking the event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, all right, well done, and all the very best as you move move up to the uh, under twenties. Yeah, 